AM 1160 and 101.1 FM. And this interview segment with Marcus and Mack, Attorneys at Law, is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people here on Indiana in the morning. Let's say hello to them. Bob Marcus, who, who we've spoken with on occasion down through the years. Bob, good morning to you. Good morning, Todd. And Brian Nitterheiser is with us this morning. Yes, good morning, Todd. It's good to meet you for the very first time. Very nice to meet you. Yes. I'm glad to be here. So Thank how long you. have you been with the law firm? I've been with the law firm now since uh, 2006. Okay. Absolutely. All yeah. right. So yeah. it's terrific to have you both in the studio. And let me first start by thanking you for coming on board with Indiana in the morning. Well, Todd, I don't want to thank you. Uh, I'm a big uh, fan of yours. I listen every morning uh, on the way to work. And uh, even this morning, uh, talking about the dating tips. I don't need those anymore, but if I uh, was dating, I, I would have learned something. But for instance, last week, your interview with uh, uh, Ralph May uh-huh. uh, about mental health. Wasn't that interesting? It, it, it's so interesting, but it's so important. You know, the access to mental health care in Indiana is limited. He fills it as best he can with uh, limited resources. They just they do such a great job. But more importantly, you're advising people as to what to do, and you give the opportunity to people interview after interview. Uh, you know, whether it be for um, any public service that goes on here. When you talk about uh, uh, Liggett in the, uh, uh, the tourist know, bureau, tourist bureau, mm -hmm. you know that's important. Uh, I'm a big supporter of Indiana my whole life, and uh, I think what you do here is very valuable. We, Marcus and Mac, are are uh, pleased to be involved in this. I think it's important educationally. You bring all these kids in to talk. Their parents uh, mm -hmm. get to learn about things. So. Uh, your show's important. We're part of it, uh, you know, and uh, we're glad to be here. Thank you for a, the opportunity. A very, very big portion of it, and uh, and I appreciate that. That's a wonderful yeah. thing for you to say. We here at Indiana in the Morning really do feel that it's important that people know what's happening all around the county. Mm -hmm. And from a number of different angles, sometimes we'll have groups in that are, uh, you know, more public service oriented. We have an event coming up. Uh, we're a charity. We're supporting this cause or that cause. Sure. Sometimes there are issues like we talked about with Dr. May last week, which had to do uh, with mental health, availability, and the ramifications of it for Indiana County. Right. This county really is a special place, isn't it? It sure is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it, it, it is. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the concept that we've come up with of uh, taking care of people, uh, and, and you're, you're helping us uh, get our message across. You know, we, we do that uh, in about a 12-county area. Uh, on television advertising elsewhere, mm -hmm. but in the designated marketing area of Johnstown, Altoona, in Indiana County, where we are based, where we have a 40-year uh, uh, history of helping others uh, in uh, personal injury law, taking care of people, uh, we, we get the message out. We, we expect people to know us, but uh, uh, we want to do it uh, on a uh, on, on a level now that uh, really comes forward and, and talks about our experience, and uh, we're glad to be able to do that on your show. Well, the the phrase that we use to open this segment, a law firm representing injured people, that might be something we have to define mm -hmm. because uh, people might not really realize um, what it means to be an injured person who needs representation by a law firm. So let's start there. Sure. Sure. It's all we do. Uh, and that's what makes us unique in Indiana County uh, is that all we do is represent people who were injured from the negligence of somebody else, be it a motor vehicle accident, a premises liability case such as a dog bite. Uh, unfortunately, I see a lot of workplace accidents, a lot of industrial accidents. Uh, and medical negligence cases. Uh, those are the primary areas. Uh, there are certainly others uh, where we help people. Uh, what we do, though, is simply represent the injured victim. That's all we'll do. We don't write wills. We don't do divorce cases. Uh, we have chosen to spend our entire careers focused on that area of law, one area. We want to be good at it. And so those are the types of cases we handle. So somebody has been injured, and uh, they're not sure that it's something that they really should. Uh, do I need to get an attorney involved? Is there really, um, do I have a case uh, that can help me with the expenses that have come from as a result of my injury with the, um, the long-term long effects of that injury? Mm -hmm. What helps them to inform that decision? Or do you say to them, you know what, just check them out? 
uh, because you don't know and somebody is out there who can advise you. You know what I would tell somebody? Call us. We'll talk to you, and, and it's free. You know, uh, mm-hmm. We do not charge for a consultation. You're not going to get a bill from us. Give us a call because I can tell you right now, the insurance companies on the other side, they're working. Mm-hmm. They've already talked. Uh, I have seen countless, believe it or not, photographs, accident scene photographs of tractor trailer cases, you know, uh, tractor trailer wrecks on interstates. And in the police photograph, believe it or not, standing there is an insurance defense attorney already on scene. An attorney is already, already on, scene. on scene in photographs. Sometimes those attorneys are from Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. They're moving. They're moving quickly. So they're working against you. Give us a call. Just give us a call. Yeah. We'll talk to you. We'll let you know what you need to do. And if we can help you, we certainly will. Todd, I wanted to tell you that, uh, you know, Brian, uh, he just stepped down as president of the Western Pennsylvania Trial Lawyers Association. Wow. He uh, worked his way through the executive uh, team. Now, this is all of Western Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. He was the president. So we, we bring a level of sophistication uh, that is uh, the top of the game. Uh, and uh, we have a team uh, that I'm very proud of. We've grown over a number of years. You know, when I first got into this it was uh we're talking uh you know four decades ago and uh i started with uh, uh as a clerk at the uh indiana county courthouse making two dollars and 25 cents an hour with judge Ol- greg olson who <laughs> then became a district attorney and, and then uh, judge mm-hmm. so uh but i ended up uh realizing uh, i actually had to take over uh, mcgregor motors my car dealership when uh, right when i started the practice of law and uh, my dad had a heart attack and uh, i incorporated a lot of knowledge from business uh, serving people uh, into the practice of law Uh, i realized that i couldn't uh, be an expert from my standpoint in 30 years of law and uh, chose personal injury law within a few years of practice and that's what i've been doing my entire career and i grew it from one uh, secretary up to we have 18 people in our office yeah. now and that's all we do and I have I have uh, people there that have uh, had children and now grandchildren so we're talking about th- over 30 years that mm-hmm. people have worked for me and still there and uh, we continue to add value knowledge experience and uh, the attorneys that we have and the people that we have all come from Indiana County now yeah. and uh, it's a uh, it's a wonderful team, uh, and what we do is take care of people. That's what we do. It, it's, it's actually as tough as it is uh, with dealing with injured people. Uh, we, 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 we get value out of what we do because that's all we do is help people. I think you just answered my next question, which was, what is the motivation for going for advocating on behalf of, of injured people? Well, there's the, we advocate uh, to actually try to prevent you know, because we, we know that uh, distracted driving, for instance, is a, is a huge problem these days. And mm-hmm. so we try to alert people to that. Uh, driving while intoxicated, big problem. Uh, but we, we go pretty deep into things. I mean, we represent Indiana County in, in the opioid crisis. Uh, you know, we're, we're pretty broad-based uh, when you start talking about uh, our, our, our specialty. Uh, but we bring in a lot of uh, uh, people that are injured, and if we can't help them, we get them to the people who can. Yeah. So uh, we, we, we enjoy what we do from that perspective, mm-hmm. but uh, it, it, it's tough, and it, it uh, drags at your heartstrings a lot. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Brian, um, Bob mentioned uh, the position um, with the ability to network with so many people. Sure. Uh, you have probably a unique perspective on on that from from your work with all of western pennsylvania now that you can bring into what you do here in indiana county absolutely absolutely i'm also involved in the uh, national trial lawyers association and the pennsylvania association for justice but uh i did i ascended through the ranks of the uh, more local uh one you know representing the entire western uh, all the western counties and mm-hmm. uh, yes uh, bob's right i did yeah. just serve as president of the western pennsylvania trial lawyers association and sure we do have a network of attorneys and it's 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 a good network to have because we use each other's collective experience collective wisdom to help mm-hmm. uh every case is unique 
Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years, so I've seen a lot of circumstances. But every once in a while, you need perhaps to uh, find an expert witness that you haven't used before for a unique issue. And of course, yes, you do. You, you lean on your colleagues uh, to help you in those circumstances. And of course, we pay it forward. Uh, we help people as well. Uh, attorneys call us all the time, ask us questions, be it about local practice, local procedure, uh, juries in these areas, things like that. And sure, we work in a collaborative effort with other people. Yeah, our access to experts. Uh, mm. You know, Brian talks about uh, Benamala. If you like. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, one of the experts that we use, in fact, I was uh, working with him over the weekend, is uh, Dr. Bennett Amalu. Uh, don't know if you ever saw the movie Concussion, but uh -huh. uh, Will Smith played him in a movie. Uh, and he was, I think we may have been one of the, uh, I think we're in the top five firms to ever use him as an expert witness uh, before he was famous. Mm. Uh, but, you know, and he lives in California now, uh, but we will still use him. We'll still bring him in for the for cases uh, because he is, in my opinion, the most preeminent expert uh, in the subject matter, you know, uh, yeah. brain injuries in the world. So gotta, we work with national experts. Got to know your stuff and you sure. got to know the people who know their stuff. Exactly. The they most important issue, Todd, is, is that we're people serving people. And that's the way we look at it. Uh, when you call our law firm, uh, we're always available. We have people on staff. We're overstaffed. Uh, you always get a live person to talk to. Yeah. You have someone who uh, will hold your hand, and uh, that's what we believe we need to do. That's believe We believe that's what uh, being a good professional is. And uh, we understand that if we do a good job for people, um, we will get something back. And, and uh, we, we get something back by helping them, making them feel good, and they recommend us, and that's, that's how it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think holding people's hands in the area of law that we practice is probably more important in our area than, than a lot of others. And the reason is, you know, when you woke up that morning, you didn't necessarily know you were going to need an attorney. You yeah. didn't know you were going to be injured. Uh, and now all of a sudden you're dealing with possibly the loss of a car. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. How are you going to get people to school? How are you going to get the kids to their after-school activities? How are you going to get to work? Sometimes your injuries can even prevent you from going to work. Now, how are you going to pay the bills? People need someone to talk to. They need someone who's going to sit down with them, walk them through the legal process, be honest with them. I always tell people I'm your lawyer, not your cheerleader. I'm going to be brutally honest with you, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but walk them through. Uh, be empathetic. Understand their plight but fight for them and fight hard to get them what they deserve, but as quickly as they can, just to get their lives back in order. Something that just sounds like a car accident can really change things, and it changes it as quickly as it happened. Yeah, the definition of life-changing event is probably pretty surprising to some folks. Yeah. Gentlemen, it's been great having you with us this morning. It's going to be great having you with, you, with us uh, moving forward. We're so grateful for you to come in today and to become one of the team members here at Indiana in the Morning. We're very excited. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. We appreciate it. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people, and it's Indiana in the Morning here on WCCS.